Uh, Alzheimer's disease is, is a, a very mature field, a, a, a scientific field right now in terms of understanding how insulin resistance affects the brain. So we now, many of us, call Alzheimer's disease type 3 diabetes. And the reason for that is that it seems as though there are multiple lines of high quality evidence indicating uh, that insulin resistance is not just associated with Alzheimer's. Insulin resistance seems to be a primary driving force causing most cases of garden variety Alzheimer's disease. And this could be an entire talk in, of itself, and it has been, but just a, one key point is that insulin resistance, the way it affects the brain, is that the blood-brain barrier itself becomes resistant to insulin, not to glucose. Glucose can flow right in, no questions asked. Uh, plenty of glucose gets into the brain, even if you have type 2 diabetes, uh, severe insulin resistance. The problem is that insulin has a difficult time getting into the brain, and that's a problem because the brain is an energy hog. It needs a constant supply. It's an electrical organ. It's very busy. So it needs a constant supply of high quality energy. And it, it often prefers glucose, but can also use ketones. So, uh, you know, if insulin can't get in to burn glucose, uh, insulin is actually required for cells to turn glucose into energy. And if you don't get enough insulin in, the cells will begin to sputter and uh, suffer energy deficits. And this can be especially problematic for the hippocampus, the memory center of the brain, because the, that's an especially active area, and it's very sensitive to insulin deficits.